Lopez is a great player. We'll see how well this works out as we've got the Kaya Val going up against the seven and the uh, Dalsim. Yeah, so that's where like Lopez, looking at Lopez and putting him on such a high pedestal isn't the same as like looking at Boomy and Sandstorm teaming up and being like, I think they're gonna take the tournament yeah. because like obviously it wasn't like Lopez kind of fell off relatively speaking and like, okay, we don't see him in top eight, we don't see him in top 16 anymore. It's that he was banned for a while. So that is a completely different story than a lot of the other like nostalgia votes that we go for. He almost picked up that neutral signature on to Kaina, which would have been a huge takeout Ooh. early. Great grab pound from Juarez. The side air back to the stage. Does a little bit of team damage, but more importantly, puts your opponent or your teammate Yo. really far away from you. He's still doing it. And now he set his sights on to Lores. Lopez getting sent down. Somehow they both are Dude. about to make it back and they're both going in on Loras. A second person has gone under the stage. It's been 50 seconds into the game, Duke. Dude, they're both miracle workers. The way that Lopez in sweat beats, no options left. It was still nearing power to save power and then get the wall touch. They survived for so stinking long, but red team gonna fall first laura is gonna get taken out on the left side see if they can get the full team wipe the weapon toss went high power swapping see if they can there's the delight into the neutral air laura's tried to interrupt it before that neutral air came out because of course that was going to be the true ko combo and Lorez, or Lopez, he's not afraid to go down there at all because he's almost all the way through his stock. So he could get a huge gimp there. He could set up something massive. And if he falls, like, okay, he'd probably fall pretty soon on the main platform anyway. Yeah, the risk reward there, definitely in his favor. Uh, didn't lose too much. That stock, like you said, was kind of already out the door. But now we're coming in the second stocks. Everything more or less cleaned up. D-Light side air coming out from Lorez. Now swapping over, adding up a little bit of damage onto Lopez as well. In terms of damage, all of a sudden, Lopez is the one who's been taking a lot of damage here. Powers might be right behind him. Those crown pounds from Lorez have been so good at hitting one or both members of the blue team and sending them over towards the edge. This is something that we talked about in uh, Trial of Ymir, is like spear players suddenly remember that spear ground pound's actually kind of good. Yep. And that's what I've been seeing today, is like spear players using that ground pound to get some KOs. But once again, getting some even trades. Oh, Lopez, going to be disarmed for just a little bit. Relatively even so far, the lead favors the red team just a little bit here because Kaina is a little bit more healthy than Power is. Okay, Laura starting to get juggled in the air. More neutral airs coming out from Lopez. We haven't seen too many D-Sigs yet. That was something he was using all the time previously, but he hasn't brought it out from his toolkit here. That's dominating from Kaina. That means three KOs that he's grabbed on this second stock without losing it. And it's worth mentioning, Kai is not on a pick that like we would expect from his 1v1s. This is a foul for Kaina. No axe, no hammer, nothing. It's it's all about the gauntlets and sword. Yeah, this is something he started to lean into a little bit more towards the beginning of the set. Then if something really starts to not work, okay, Lorez is going to end up falling off the bottom side of the screen, putting Kaina in the 1v2. Definitely a winnable 1v2 given how damaged Lopez Whoa. is, unless they keep this the going. Can they get the stock off of it? Almost not quite enough strength there on Powers Dalsim, but they're able to clean it up right after that. But yeah, the Val has all of a sudden like started to be the leading pick that kind of goes for in twos. It's very interesting, and it, and it was working relatively well, but the second that you saw Lores fall, immediately Pyro was caught up in that blender, that 2v1 combo, and at that point, Pyro's like, I know. Or, uh, sorry, Kaina's like, I know. Yeah, it was, uh, you saw how rehearsed they were with it, how uh, they ended up bringing up that neutral sig comes out from power, trying to send off the top. And that's that's Val defense. A, a lot of other legends in the game would have been taken out there. Sure. But that's Val defense really coming through at the last moment. Well, here we go into game number two. Blue team actually getting both weapon spawns off the start, but ended up going really high. I think they were chasing Lores and ended up not really getting too much off of it. Oh, potential oh, for a recovery? vertical here. I think kind of didn't have quite enough in his in-air movement economy to keep it going off the top. We have seen him, like there was, uh, it was in the top 10 of I think Trial of Ymir that uh, that Frone made that had a kind of clip, I believe in there of him getting insanely early KOs off the top in orange with Val's sword. So we're starting to see the red team final a couple more follow-ups namely Lores is hitting a lot more signatures there's that neutral sig gonna get the first ko and the second ko as well for an official double ko 
Laura isn't kind of looking very healthy so far. There is a weapon spawn on the stage. It's grab. Edge guard coming out from Kinda. He backs away to get away from that ground pound, keeping the pressure up onto Lopez, though. Gets caught with the neutral light. One KO on the left side. See if they can clean up Lores here. There's the weapon toss as well after that down air. He's back on the stage without a weapon, but still alive. Ooh, just a little bit too far on the left, but Lores, I love the turnaround Ooh. after getting that side air. Going for more, still gets that wall touch. Lores put out a ton of damage so quickly on power. He's very much in danger of losing the second stock and be put onto his final. Whoa. Just barely, kind of was chasing with the recovery. Didn't have quite the, the distance to cover to actually find the connection there. Downlight recovery, nice, nice drift there to actually let Loris fall out and still keep power inside of that. Kind of hit the neutral light on a Lopez, then immediately went over for the man advantage against power. Now finally losing that second stock. It seemed like he was in danger of losing it like 45 seconds ago, but then all of a sudden power lost his, Lopez caught up and lost his, and even Lores is pretty close to losing his second stock. So the survivability coming out from power has been solid on the second stock. Yeah, it's definitely been very Ooh. helpful for the team as the red team Ooh. gonna <laughs> fall there. The immediate double KO coming out from Lopez, those spear dares. So we've, seen, we've seen some solid pogo work from two different players. I can't remember who the last one was. It was while I was on my block with Walt earlier. Um, but now we're seeing it from Lopez as well, just completely zoning both members of the red team out from that edge. Now we're even. Yeah, this could really go either way. I do believe the red team has been, like, getting the KOs a little bit yes. earlier. Okay, I like the delayed recovery. The Nair, unfortunately, doesn't hit Lopez. Lores actually eats a weapon toss on the, the right side and kind of oh. can't get the hit. He needs to come back up, but the dare still gets the wall touch. Blue team playing it very safe here. Oh, no way. Real? Look at him juggle the weapon's kind of so good. Oh, goes for the N-Sig, Lopez on the other side. There's the Dude, power's There's the not even... Th they're so scared. He just did it. Unbelievable's that's, right. Dude, that's how good Kaina is, is the blue team was 100% scared. They had the time. Think about that sword neutral signature. You swipe in one direction, you swipe in the other direction, and power was not close enough to find the punish for the KO. That's how scared they were of Kaina. Dude, even before that, when he's doing that juggle between the weapons, and you had, um, I think it was Lopez, who was just, like, staring at him, like, wait, wait is yeah. he going to come swing on me when he gets the pickup? What's going to happen right now? And just that, like, little hesitation and kind of took full advantage of it. Kind of has, like, so much momentum behind him in this region. He's, like, on such a pedestal that everyone gives him so much respect. And for good reason. We see such a multidisciplined player, of course, showing the Val. Like, Val an is orange, not... orange, some might say. An orange, very versatile. Or corn. Or corn. Corn is very versatile uh -huh. as well. So the fact that he's able to do it on different legends. Of course, everybody knows his Taros. Everybody knows his Zul as well. And, of course, everyone is now getting to know and respect his Val. Val isn't the most meta legend. Who are we seeing playing Val still? It's a lot of like, it's old heads. It's like Pavelski and Sarme yeah, earlier, like, I think that who were still it. kind of the only ones really playing this legend at this high a level, but kind of makes it work. Just like there's not a lot of Taros players at this level, but kind of makes it work. There's not a lot of Zol players at this level, but kind of makes it work. You're making a great argument for kind of to be like a low tier hero. He just plays the, the off meta characters, but does it really, really well. He's just, he's hes so good. He's so good at Brawl. I cannot say that enough. Well, here we are into game number three, currently tied 1-1. One, one. Power does get a Nair shoving Lores off stage, but Lores gets past. Nice Nair there, but the ground oh, pound. The ground Power pound. is going to get taken out first. That's rough. And the full team wipe there. That is a tough way to start this one. Lores, not even in orange yet. Neither is Kaina. We're 40 seconds into this game. There's already been a full team wipe on blue. And I expect to see more damage coming out very quickly. Yeah, red team already going to work, getting that damage. Oh, power going real far with that down oh, nice. and Lopez. Wait, he's low? Oh, okay, kind of couldn't get the hit. Kind of, again, was unable to find the hit for the save. Not necessarily, like, complete the save and confirm the save, but unable to actually get the hit to send his teammate up. We saw it once last game, and now we saw it again this game. So hopefully that's not something going forward for them that they struggle with. 
Yeah, even so, they're still maintaining this lead, namely because Kaina is so healthy. Uh, Laura's actually not too far behind the blue team members. It's really just the fact that Kaina's got an extra stock. Okay. Ooh. Even if Laura's held that down signature, Power was steering around behind him with that ground pound, so he wasn't even going to fall in it if it was held and still had active frames going. Nice down air. Again, the pogo from Laura's. Ooh. Laura's bent real hard on that GCN sick to hopefully chase dodge after the hit. Power's gonna get taken out. Once again, red team with the lead. Dude, kind of so healthy. Especially on this map, if you want to take Kaina out vertically, you're going to have to deal with all that defense. Same thing for Loris. We want to take him out as well. Left and right side, and, and of course the bottom, are really going to be your safest things. Loris was just staring down the barrel of the walking crawler coming towards him and just blasting. I don't think the downlight is a punish on that because I do think you get popped up by the crawler because you're like jumping on the back seat. Okay. But still, I like the idea and the fact that Loris didn't panic in that situation. Yeah. Maybe you go for just like the one, not even one jump height up, or the GCP light yeah. right off the ground. Ooh. Okay, Lopez falls there, and he's out of the game, and it's a 1v2. Power stuck in this one. Yeah, power in the red, kind of going for some cheeky plays there, hitting the teammate for the chase dodge. That's Down it. Light side there. Yep. Kind of Lores taking game number three, currently up 2 1. They really, not that they make it look easy. But they, they make it look medium, right? Like, okay. they're, they're absolutely beating their opponents. Uh -huh. They don't make it look easy. No. They're not making it look hard, let's no. be real. It's, there's some domination coming out here. It's, they're making it look medium. Yeah, okay. So it's like the game designers are like, you're supposed to win, but you do have to put in some effort yes. for it. It's not just a walk in the park. Yes. Okay. It's like when you, if, if it, this game was an egg and you, and you, the, the yolk has some structural rigidity to it okay. due to the turgor pressure of water within the cells. Okay. And then when you pierce it, that's, that's when it's runny and comes out a little bit, okay. right? It's not sure. just a completely yeah. destroyed yolk. Uh -huh. It's just a little bit of a, uh, once, you, once you pierce it, then the floodgates have opened and then we have a runny yolk and it's delicious. Okay, so what does any of that have to do with easy, medium, or hard? Oh, uh, because like an egg over medium. Okay. I was I was waiting for that connection. Okay. You were just explaining how eggs worked, and I got I got a little lost in the sauce there. I didn't know over medium was a thing until I dated a girl who got hers over medium. What a freak. <laughs> <laughs> this, this, no, no she, she, was, she was fine. She, this was not a red flag at all. This is totally fine. Over medium is great. I mean, she's, you're not still with her, so like obviously there's some problems. Well, you know, it, it, was, it, was, it, was, it was amicable. <laughs> Uh, it, was a, it was a mutual breakup between the two, and we remained friends afterwards. Game number four, though. <laughs> <laughs> now we are in Apocalypse here. Medium-sized sidewalls. If it was an egg, it would be over, it would be over medium. <laughs> Downlight and Nair's coming out from Kaina. Really just getting a solid juggle here. Power the first one to fall, but Loras is actually not too far behind here. Man, kind of was really chasing in the air, but Lopez has been shutting him down. Ooh. And especially after that ground pound makes contact, Laura's by his lonesome over there. Now we're seeing the down signature come out a little bit, just a little bit, though. Yo, but Lopez already down to his final stop. Kind of with the side tick will take out the teammate, but they still maintain this lead over the blue team. A little bit more team damage coming out. Loras was in sweat beats for just a few moments, landing on the main platform, getting over to the right side, grabbing his weapon. Lopez was smart not to immediately panic dodge. Man, there's it's still four stocks to two. Yeah, it's this, wild this how dominant this red team lead. is. Like this is Lopez and power we're talking about. And it's one of those things where it's like it creeps into dominance. It's not yes. like one of those things where some big explosive moment happens. It's just like the red team is so consistent at getting damage safely. Nice weapon toss from Kaina. We'll get the recovery for the chase dodge as well. It's they're, they're just doing everyone at like a two to one pace, right? Yeah. They're putting out twice as much damage. They're getting twice as many KOs. It's no huge edge guard that really changes the game here. But now Lopez is all by his lonesome, does hit the D-Sig. Hitting Lores, putting him onto his final stock. See if he can finish the stock off from Kaina before Lores spawns back in and grabs a weapon. Oh, didn't go for the nair there. Should be gone. Yep, the neutral light will do it. And that 
is a 3-1. Laura Zinkina going to be sitting in the grand finals, a guaranteed top two finish. I think they look basically unstoppable at this moment. I, I don't see Lopez and Power somehow figuring something out in the time that they have going through the rest of the bracket, if, if, that's, if they even make it through the rest of the bracket.